Hi, Douglas Simonson here coming to you from Mexico. Today we have a drawing video. Today is all about getting it wrong and why that's a good thing. Today you're going to see me drawing three quick sketches of the male nude. And in each sketch you'll see that I begin by blocking in the entire figure. What I'm going to call in this video the rough block in. The rough block in is a really important skill in drawing and in painting as well. And I find that doing a lot of quick sketches is a really good way to get better at this. I draw a lot and I find that doing a lot of quick drawings like three to five minutes each or even less is a really good way to keep me warmed up and improve my drawing skills. These fast drawings are really good because they don't give you time to get distracted by details. You'll learn a lot more from doing a lot of quick drawings than from spending a lot of time on a more finished detailed drawing. When you do lots of quick drawings, you get a lot more experience at the rough block in. And as I said, what that means is putting in the entire figure very quickly and simply before doing anything else. Now you may think that the rough block in needs to be perfect, but you'd be wrong. The fact is, and nobody tells you this, it's never going to be perfect. It's always going to be wrong. That's why we call it a rough block in, because it's rough. The job of the rough block in is not to be perfect, it's to get you started. In all the drawings in this video, I want you to pay attention to how often I'm correcting my own lines. I do this by checking my reference photograph constantly and looking for places that aren't right. Then I fix them. This is normal and natural and unless you're Kim Jong Gi, and I'm certainly not, it's how you draw. You make mistakes, then you find them and fix them. We all know it's scary doing a rough block in. It's scary for me too. I've just learned to ignore the fear. It's normal to be afraid of screwing up. You want to get it right. Well, let that one go because it's never going to be perfect. So just be brave and do it wrong because it's supposed to be wrong. Sometimes it's so wrong you have to start over. That's fine too. You'll see that's what happened on this final drawing. I ended up not liking the way it was turning out, so I started over. Do your rough block in quickly and don't think too much. It also helps to squint at the reference photo so it gets kind of blurry and you can only see the big shapes. But the main thing is don't try to make it perfect. It's supposed to be wrong. And once you've got the rough block in, you have something to work with, something to start fixing. The more quick drawings you do, the better you'll get at putting lines down quickly and bravely, taking chances. And you'll get faster at seeing what's not working and fixing it. You'll also get better at ignoring that voice in your head that thinks mistakes are bad. Well, that line sucks. Obviously, you have no talent. That's when you say, thanks for sharing. Douglas says mistakes are essential. So I'm just going to keep drawing and see what happens. Pretty soon, the voice will give up, mostly. And you'll enjoy drawing a lot more, mistakes and all. Now, sharpen a pencil and go make some mistakes.